We are gonna do another cold start video. Two degrees, which actually, it's probably a little colder. It's colder than that, because this is like tied up against the, the seal on the garage door, so any heat escaping out of there is probably making it out, throwing off the reading. But yeah, it's cold outside. Must be a little warmer because uh, it's definitely colder than earlier today. Now I'm just trying to get my air compressor to fire up. Oh, oh. She's getting there. Sucker does not want to work. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is not what you're supposed to do. But well, it is a Harbor Freight one, so it's good for it. starting to go now. started really well for me so but that's the problem and I gotta jack it up once it came off the bead so I'm hoping that I just taking pressure off of it she'll uh, she'll uh, re-bead my cousin's bike hey can I put your my motorcycle in your uh, Car in your car garage for uh, a weekend. We're like, yeah, as long as it doesn't stay in there. Okay. And that was June. It is now January. Has it moved? And heaven forbid if we touch it, he's gonna sue us. So whatever. next oh there we go had to change the wheel i like these wheels i just wish they weren't 14s if they were 15s they'd be on here but uh they're 14 inch wheels so i don't have much that actually fit 14s and three lug nuts is good enough just to get up to the front garage due to this tire will not take air but so now we're gonna do a cold start on this pig the battery is fairly new. I only put like 20 PSI in it. She kind of low, but like I said, she was going to the front garage. So literally going down there and around the corner. So uh, these are 15s. I had to put 15s because with that fourth gen rear end in the back, I. Uh, I couldn't clear 14 inch wheels in the rear. So I needed 15s in the rear and I could clear 14s in the front, which I am right now on the one side, but yeah, or else I'd probably have these wheels on this car. So brand new battery in the car or fairly new. I don't, I don't think the battery's a year old. Oh. This is gonna be fun.
Sucks. Cause I gotta pull this motor out. And I think that's gonna be it for that battery. Damn it! Oh, this is turning out to be a really low, lame cold start video. All right, got the battery charger on her. The world's most intelligent battery charger. <clears throat> but yeah, let's try this again. Yeah, she is totally not liking this. Oh, there's a pop. Oh! It's like there, or kind of a pop, something. She, she puffed out a something out of a cylinder, some kind of something. So, wow, this is gonna be an hour long video when it's all said and done. Watch an idiot try to start a dual carb three to three stroker in the middle of the winter. That's me. for my Camaro to somewhat get a charge. We're gonna do a, a somewhat coldish start on this pig. She was running a couple hours ago, so we're gonna try with no glow plugs here. Yeah, that's a no. There's something that ran, started. Yay. There we go. If the block heater isn't plugged in on this truck, this thing is a complete nightmare to start. <laughs> Better than that though. That's also got two batteries. This one's got a A battery. That's uh, 540 cold cranking amps. Yeah. So, she'll go though. I have no doubt about it. We'll try her right now. Right meow. Maybe here in the fork start we'll convince her to not be outdone by a f by a Ford. Oh my god. We got something. Oh there's a breath of life there. Probably flooding the crap out of it now. Oh. oh, damn it. All right, we got jumper cables, the world's smallest jumper cables. So probably not enough to start it. Plus the battery charger, which as soon as I'm probably turning over, will shut off because he's gonna recognize the charge from the diesel and then shut off thinking that it's running. Because it's a quote unquote smart battery charger. So, all right. Let's go. Oh, come on. Pulling the starter away. 
way too long. God, that song's bad. It just does not want it. I don't think my starter wants it anymore either. want to pull this car to the front the motor's got to come out it's running like shit it's got a bunch of blow by in one of the cylinders spewing oil out the exhaust so it's like come on there we go now she's starting to run I'm not going to have a flex plate when it's all said and done. Flex plate or a starter gear. If I had probably bigger jumper cables, it probably would be going a lot better. But those jumper cables are pretty small. I don't know if I can zoom in on them. Uh, it doesn't turn out too well. Definitely getting there. Oh, I just tore it. Are those jumper cables even doing anything? Wow, that was pretty stupid. gonna go. Ready? she's gonna go it's like kind of there but kind of not it's fucking cold out it doesn't help there's zero chokes on the carburetors because I removed them as my buddy said You're probably gonna need those I'm like ah chokes are for pussies yeah well I think uh, they'd be really nice right about now So I think I'll be starting that up and using that to pull the car because it's kind of hard to see what's happening when you're in the truck, especially when I'm by myself. So yeah, we're going to give her one last shot here. That's it. Epic fail. Cold start fail.